Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today's lecture basically on problems on testing of hypothesis. So we talked about the chapter testing of hypothesis is a very important topic on statistics, especially for undergraduate students. So let me discuss about some problems, how to deal with the problems, how to do with the problems using different statistics. So let us start with a application to normal m sigma population. First one is test for m when sigma is known. That already we have taught you about this thing. So for testing h naught m equal to f naught against the alternative m is more than m naught. The required statistics is the u equal to x bar minus m naught by sigma by root m. And the best critical region is given by u epsilon comma infinity and u is a standard normal variate. u is a standard normal variate capital U. And in this case you have to test for right tail test because m is more than m naught. Maybe if m is less than m naught you have to go for left tail test. And if there is no alternative that is m not equal to m naught you have to go for both tail test. So let us have an example on that. Example one is basically on that hypothesis. In a ceramic industry, the population of percentages of yield of first class material was known to have a mean 72.6 and standard deviation 2.4. So you have a mean 72.6 and standard deviation 2.4. As obtained from past large samples. A new inceptive bonus was declared and a subsequent sample of size 15, another sample of size 15 from the population gave a mean of 74.3. Okay. Now, the question is, does this reasonably show that the bonus really helped raising the average yield percentage? That is the question. So what do you have? You have mean is specified, mean is 72.6 and in this case you are say standard deviation is known to you 2.4 is the standard deviation right. So your null hypothesis is in this case your null hypothesis is h naught m equal to 72.6 equal to m naught against the alternative h1 m is more than 72.6 that you have to test because you see your uh, after the incentive bonus was declared the sample size gives you the mean 74.3 naturally there is a it shows that there is a increment in the mean but we have to test that statistically we have to test that thing so that i have my alternative is h1 such that m is more than h72.6 so you have to test this thing so here the appropriate test is a right tail standard normal test and let us state at test at one percent level of significance you can test nothing is mentioned you can test for five percent or one percent but uh, that depends on the problem also but in this case you can test for one percent level of significance so for one person your critical region that is u epsilon right tail test you are doing the right tail test so this is your critical region right this is your critical region and u epsilon will be given from the table you can get the value of u epsilon from the table or may be provided in the problem it may be provided in the problem so epsilon is 0 0.01 and probability of u more than u epsilon is 0 0.01 right this probability is given by 0 0.01 and n equal to 15 x bar that is the sample mean is 74.3 sigma is 22.4 and m naught is 72.6 so these are the data you have to write the data accordingly now the statistics the statistics in this case is given by u equal to x bar minus m naught by sigma by root n and you, you know this represents a standard normal this is standard normal variate and if you substitute all the values of x bar, sigma, n, m naught, 
you will get the computed value of the statistics that is 2.74 and your critical region is actually right tail test so your critical region has a value 0 0.0031 okay and your computed value is 2.74 so here is the position of the computed value computed value lies in the critical region right 2.74 because your u epsilon is 0 0.0031 it is from the table or maybe provided in the so it falls in the critical region so your computed value of the statistics falls in the critical region right so at one person level so computed value of u falls within the critical region at one person level therefore according to the languages u is highly significant computed value of u is highly significant hence we can confidently reject H0. Therefore, our belief, so you have to reject H0 and you have to accept the alternative. So your alternative is M greater than 72.6. That is mean has increased. That is, uh, therefore, our belief that the incentive bonus was really effective for the, conf is confirmed. Really effective. So that was the thing. You have to test, you have to choose the statistics according to your problem. If it is a normal distribution problem, if you are doing mean, mean is more than that. Right tail test, mean is less than. Left tail test, if there is no alternative, go for both tail tests and you have to choose the uh, critical region. Critical region may be given in the problem or maybe you have to find out from the table if the value of the test statistics falls in the critical region you have to reject the that is critical region is the rejection region you have to reject the null hypothesis and you have to accept the alternative and you have to conclude the problem okay so this is how you have to go let's give you another one when sigma is unknown then you have to your test statistics is t distribution t is x bar minus m naught by s by root n right where t follows t distribution t is greater than t epsilon this should be epsilon t epsilon okay with n minus one degrees of freedom in this case you have a right tail test maybe you have left tail test maybe you have no alternatives in that case you have to choose both tail test so let's have a problem example two a drug is given to 10 patients and the increments in their blood pressure were recorded to be 3, 6, minus 2, 4, minus 3, 4, 6, double, 0, 2. 3, comma, 6, comma, all are separated. So there are 10 patients and they're recorded. The blood pressures were recorded. Is it reasonable to believe that the drug has no effect on change on of blood pressure? So test at 5% level, assuming that the population to be normal. Okay. So you have 10 patient data. Here, so it is mentioned that 5% level you have to test. So your null hypothesis is, is here, your null hypothesis is m equal to 0 because no effect, reasonably believe that the drug has no effect on change of blood pressure. So you know that null hypothesis is not tested, but it's uh, uh, actually you have to test for null hypothesis. Okay, so against no alternative, no alternative is given and standard deviation is unknown so you have to go for t test two tail t test because no alternative is there so you have to get, go for right tail and left tail test both and epsilon is equal to 0 0.05 the null hypothesis is given by h naught such that m equal to 0 and your t more than t epsilon and nu equal to 9 degrees of freedom because n is 10 so n minus 1 degrees of freedom and your uh, 0.025 okay t greater than t epsilon is given by 0 0.025 okay and you have to go for both tail test right and you have to calculate sample variance so x is given by this so this is your x data right you this is your x data some data is given to you that is your x so find out x square and x bar x bar is given by 2 and you have to calculate the uh, moment a2 a2 is 13 and similarly you can calculate a square that is a sample variance sample variance is given by a2 minus x bar square that is equal to 9 then you calculate small s square right so this is subsequently you can get these values now 
the computed value of the statistics is the statistics in this case is given by t statistics x bar minus m naught by s by root n and the computed value of the statistics is 2 and the critical region i told you the critical region will be given in the problem or you can get it from the table so in this case your critical region is given by this values minus 2.262 uh, and 2.262 to infinity so so two two tail test so you have both sides 262 and you have it's it's like slightly it's normal mm, so it's not a normal it's a t distribution it's much steeper in the upward direction so this is your 2.6262 right and this is your okay and the computed value is 2 so it doesn't fall in the critical region it is in the acceptance region right because your critical region is this portion so it doesn't fall in the critical region it is in the accepted region at 5 percent level okay so computed value of t is not significant hence we can accept h naught hence the drug has no effect on change of blood pressure that is the conclusion because look at that your null hypothesis is m equal to 0 that means the drug has no effect on the change of blood pressure mean value is 0 so that is the conclusion because it doesn't fall in the critical region at 5 percent level the computed value of test statistics is not significant hence we can accept h naught this is the acceptance region because your value falls in the acceptance region okay clear now next one is binomial np population and this is the statistics for binomial np population u equal to nu minus np naught square root of over square root of np naught q naught you know the mean of the binomial population is npq and variance is root over npq right oh sorry mean is binomial the mean of binomial distribution np and this is the specified mean right and the variance is given by npq right and you have both tail test in this case with no alternative so let's have a problem on binomial distribution so example 3 216 success were obtained in 1000 throw with a throws with a die is the die honest this is a very important question for all of you and very interesting one also so this has to be a binomial distribution you can easily recognize the binomial distribution problems maybe you can't recognize the t distribution problem normal distribution but you can easily recognize the binomial distribution problem so in this case you have n equal to 1000 and nu equal to that is the frequency is 216 okay look at that nu and epsilon is 0 0.01 we'll test for uh, one percent level so u epsilon is given by probability of u greater than u epsilon epsilon by 2.0005 and you can get the value of u epsilon from the table or it may be given in the problem so you have both tail test in this case so both sides you have right this is your minus 2.575 so i'm drawing the sketch in every problem please draw the sketch that will be for your understanding you it will be clear for you so this is your critical region okay this is the critical region and uh, let us calculate the computed value so your computed value uh, okay the we test that you have to write the null hypothesis without writing the hypothesis uh, number is not credited so you have to write the null hypothesis h naught is p equal to p naught equals one by six against no alternative okay and the computed value of the statistics is 4.19 so look at that 4.19 doesn't fall in the critical region it is in the acceptance region right here uh, uh, sorry sorry it is in the critical region because your computed value of the statistics is 4.19 so it falls in the critical region here is the value 4.19 it falls in the critical region so you have to reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative that is hence the computed value of the statistics falls in the critical region at one percent level that is the computed value is highly significant that is the language i give I, it is given to you we can confidently reject the null hypothesis hence the die is not honest that is the alternative 
that is the question was is the dye honest and your uh, null hypothesis is yes if it is a honest dye it must be 1 by 6 1 by 6 p equal to 1 by 6 so against the alternative will be dye is not honest so you have to accept the alternative that is the dye is not honest okay clear everybody now we will go for another problem which is based on comparison of binomial np population so you have two binomial population in 1p1 in 2p2 and you have uh, uh, in one uh, new one and new two are independent samples of unit size so against the alternative a null hypothesis is p equal to p naught and your statistics is given by u equal to new one by n one minus new two by n two over root over root uh, p cap q cap times one by n one plus one by n two this must be n two sorry there is a printing mistake so uh, p cap is where p cap is given by nu1 plus nu2 by n1 plus n2 and q cap is 1 minus p cap and the critical region as usual you have both side test okay so this is the statistics and this is the critical region both side test so let's go for a problem problem number four in reply to the question do you usually enjoy the evening alone 96 out of 55 42 persons from one population and 117 out of 979 persons from another population said yes so you have two populations you can easily identify the comparison of population so this goes for binomial do the two populations really have different psychological attitudes towards the given questions that is the, so you are comparing two populations you have the question of comparing two populations so you have n1 equal to 542 and n1 equal to 96 n2 equal to 979, nu2 equal to 117 and you can calculate p, p cap that is given by nu1 plus nu2 by n1 plus n2 and you have, you are go, you, you have to test for one person level, let's have a test for one person level and your critical region is as before and probability of u greater than u epsilon is given by 0 0.005 so your critical region is both sides, you have this is the critical region, this is minus 2.575 okay minus u epsilon 2 and this is 2.575 right so these two there are two portions of the critical region two tail test against no alternative actually so we test the null hypothesis h equal h not p uh, such that p equal to p not p1 equal to p2 against no alternative so you calculate the computed value of the statistics is given by 3.110 and it falls in the critical region right because it is more than it is more than 2.575 right so it is false in the critical region at one percent level so computed value of the statistics is highly significant and we can confidently reject the null hypothesis so you have to accept the alternative what is your alternative the two population have different psychological at attitudes towards the given question okay that is the alternative so that is how you have to deal with the binomial problems let's go for multinomial population so if you have a multinomial population you have to test for chi square your test will be chi square test and this is the test statistics okay and your critical region is chi square more than chi square epsilon that is equal to epsilon right tail test so let's go for multinomial let's give you example of multinomial this is extremely important problem multinomials are very very important so actually multinomial problems are based on experiment if you do some experiment that is the multinomial in a cross breeding experiment with plants of a certain species 240 offspring were classified into four classes with respect to the structure of their leaves as follows class 1 class 2 class 3 class 4 four classes and their frequencies as 127, 40, 52, 21. Total is 240. So I'm talking about 240 offspring species. According to Mendel's, Mendel's theory, you know the famous uh, biologist Mendel's theory of heredity. The probabilities of the four classes should be in the ratio 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Now the question is, are these data consistent with the theory? That is the question. So this is experimental based you have to go for multinomial 
and it is given chi square more than 4 point so critical region is given 4.519 more than 4.519 is the critical region and the value is 0.21 right so critical region is given here for 3 degrees of freedom you have 4 data so you have to go for 3 degrees of freedom here we are concerned with the multinomial population with 4 parameters p1 p2 p3 p4 and have to test the hypothesis you have to write the hypothesis like that Null hypothesis H not P K equal to P not K K equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Where P not 1 is 9 by 16, right? Probability of P that is the probability of occurrence. P not 2 is 3 by 16. You look at the ratio 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. If you take the sum of the ratios, that will be 16. So first one P not K is uh, 9 by 16. P not 2 K 2 is 3 by 16. P not 3 is 3 by 16 and P not 4 is 1 by 16. Okay. Calculate it. Now you have to do go for the table. You look at the statistics first. Yeah. Summation. There is a summation K equal to 1 to M. New K. Summation runs over K. N P K not P not K whole square by N P not K. So you have to do a table for that. Let's check the table. So class 1. So, first column is classes 1, 2, 3, 4. Next column is new. Next column is NP0. Next one is the calculation new minus NP0 by NP0 whole NP0 square by NP0. Okay, new is 127 and N is N is 4, right? Okay. So P0 NP0 that is the mean is 135. And new is given in the problem, right? So you can calculate NP0, okay? 135, the corresponding one, and 45, second one, 45, 15, and you complete the table 240. And you can calculate new minus NP0 squared by NP0. That can be calculated. So you check the statistics very carefully. You can calculate these things. And if you calculate the computed value, you can get the computed value of the statistics that is 4.519. And with for 3 degrees of freedom, if you take uh, 1 percent level, that is epsilon equal to 0 0.01, chi square epsilon is given by 11.345. That is from the table. That is you can get, the, get it from the table. So you have to check for 3 degrees of freedom and 1 percent level. So this is your critical region so your critical region is okay this is your chi square actually so chi square epsilon this is your critical region 11.345 right and this value lies outside the critical region it doesn't falls in the critical region at 1% level okay now i will go for 5% level of test. So, 3 degrees of freedom, if you take epsilon is equal to 0 0.05, your chi-square epsilon is 7.815. So, 7.815 is the critical region, 7.815 to infinity at 5% level. So, you have, this is the critical region, 7.815, right? Again, the computed value of the statistics doesn't fall in the critical region. So, it is outside the critical region. The, so, so the, now the thing is that, uh, conclusion is that the computed value of chi square doesn't fall within the critical region at 5% level nor at 1% level. So, the value of chi square is not significant. Hence, we may accept the null hypothesis. So, the conclusion is the data is consistent with the Mendel's theory. Because it doesn't fall in the critical region at 1% level as well as 5% level. So, value of chi square is not significant. Hence, we have to accept the null hypothesis. Okay. So, this is very, very important example. So, if there is this experimental based problem, you have to go for multinomial cases. Now, I will give you a hint of the last problem that is example 6. Two types of chemical solutions A and B are tested for their pH values. So, there is a comparison of tests. 
and chemical A number of sample is 6, chemical B number of sample is 5, mean pH is given by, mean values are given by and standard deviation is also given. Using 0 0.05 that is a 5% level determine whether the two types of solution have different pH and the critical region is given here with 9 degrees of freedom. So, you have to go for T statistics that is the comparison of mean. Where here you can assume the null hypothesis is M1 equal to M2 against no alternative. So, you have to go for both tail test and the critical region is given, right? Critical region is given at 9 degrees of freedom. And we assume that the two populations have a common standard deviation sigma where sigma is unknown that is the sample standard deviation is unknown here so you have to apply these statistics this is the statistics you go for the test and find out the solution this is a hint for all of you so this is how you have to deal with the problems of hypothesis testing or hypothesis so in this lecture i described some important problems i have explained some important problems how to write the null hypothesis how to test that hypothesis, how to choose the statistics and you have to draw the critical region for your better understanding. Critical regions you have to choose for 1% or 5% that depends on the problem and also you can choose the values of the critical region from the table or it may be provided in the question in your exam. So that's all for today. All the best my dear students. Thank you.